Hey guys, Coach Rich here. <clears throat> Today we're going to work on the fundamentals of hitting. This is the biggest part of the game. It can seem very complicated, but I'm going to try to make it as easy as possible for you. I'm going to show you some tips and some drills that you can do, but practice, okay? That's the key, practice. But I'm going to show you one uh, problem I see with a lot of batters, and that's that they're throwing the bat out at the ball. So we're going to work on that today, or they're lunging uh, for the ball. They're lunging through. They're not turning. They're lunging forward. So we're going to work on those today. Things that we want to talk about is how to hold the bat. A lot of you guys are just gripping it in the palm of your hand, just wrapping it around. Really, you should really grip it at the end of your fingers where it comes in to the palm, right there. Wrap your fingers around, and then your, your wrist, will, your palm will come. Get that thumb on the inside as well. This will allow you to whip your wrist a little bit quicker, a little bit more back speed. So try that. It's gonna feel very awkward at the beginning, but the more you practice with the back where the fingers meet the palm, you're gonna get more comfortable with it. So now I'm gonna use a couple training aids. I've got a yellow glove, which I'm gonna put on my left hand. And I'm a right-hander, so lefties, everything I'm doing, you do just the opposite. And I've got a red glove on my right hand. All this is to show you where my hands are through the swing. Side view. So I got my feet, shoulder width, okay? Got my knees a little bit bent. I'm in a very relaxed position. The ball's mine. I get my back back, hands up, elbow up, and the butt's pointing at the catcher. And I'm ready to swing again. I step, I plant my front foot, and then my swing starts. My hips are turning, my, back, my, my hands are coming through, and I'm staying connected. See this elbow? It's staying in. It's not out here. Keep the back inside. Keep your hands inside, not out here. So up, step, and swing. I'm coming through. Look at my hands again, yellow up, red down. I'm hitting the ball and I follow through. My head is in the middle of my stance. And I have them step forward and lunge at it, okay? And I have them swiped at it. I'm up, nice smooth swing, bam. Okay, again, bam. Again, connected, connected, boom. All right guys, we're gonna make a little training tool. So what I need you to do is get a regular bath towel, an old one, ask your mom, so she, you don't get in trouble. Don't tell Betsy I took one of hers. And we're gonna cut this up two ways. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get your baseball bat and we're gonna lay it the length of the towel. And where the butt of the bat is, that's where our first cut's gonna be. So we're gonna cut one right here. We're gonna throw that away. Then your next cut is basically half of the big piece. All right, so cut it down through here, and you can either save this piece and use it for another drill. But what we're gonna do now, we're gonna roll this up and focus on the, the end that you're gonna hold on to. We're gonna simulate, we're gonna make a cloth back, basically, okay? So we're gonna roll this up. Just like so. And now that's about the, the handle of your back. Yeah, it's got some maybe electrical tape or masking tape or painter's tape or medical tape is what this is right here. We're basically gonna make the handle of our back. Now, this is the handle of our bat. Simulating a cloth bat. This is one of the greatest drills to use, and I'll show you in just a second, on how to keep your elbow connected. Baseball bat towel, that's pretty cool. All right, what I want you to do is get up next to a wall and hold this out. Come out from about a fist from your body and hold this out to the wall. There you go. And what we're going to do, we're going to swing, keeping our elbow connected. All right, coming down, keeping our elbow connected and swinging through. And if we don't, if we swing with our arms out and the elbow flies out, we'll hit the wall. 
All right, so this is a great drill right here. And I used the towel because if you use a bat and make a mistake, you put a hole in the wall. So practice with your bath towel first. All right, so swing. All right, take your stride, swing. All right, keep that elbow, your hands inside. That elbow inside, hands inside, not out, in. All right, so you're gonna swing. All right, you're gonna swing. Now, if I swing with my arms, with my elbow out, I'll hit the wall. Hear that? So this is a great practice. Swing in. Keep that elbow connected. Keep the hands inside. Keep the hands inside. That's a great tip. Practice this 30, 40 times a day. And I guarantee you, when you get back out in the field, you'll be hitting that ball a lot harder. Right here, you can't see it. But I've got a home plate right here. And I'm practicing and hitting this ball out front. Right? Hitting the ball out front of the plate. Not behind the plate. So here I go through my routine. Getting lined up where I want to get lined up. Got my feet shoulder width apart. Grab the back with my fingers, then the palm. Back, hands shoulder high, elbow up, butt pointing to the catcher. And then I make my step, and then I turn. Now the goal of this is, you want to hit this ball so it goes straight out. When you hit the ball in batting practice, really what you're trying to do is hit this ball over second base. All right? That's the key. If you consistently hit the ball over second base, that's what you want. Then you can practice hitting it to the left field or the right field. But the key is, is try to hit it up the middle. Okay? That means all your fundamentals are working good. Everything's coming together. Right up the middle. Then you can play a game. Up the middle, we'll say it's a single. Okay? If you hit it over the left field, we'll say it's a double. If you hit it to right field, it's a double. However you want to do it, but it's fun. So it gets you a whiffle ball, a little string, have it about, you know, your belt buckle height, just like pitching, and work on your fundamentals. Fundamentals, okay? Fundamentals. Fundamentals. Set up. Okay? Another great little drill. Something you can do yourself at home. Buddy Ty bringing me my frisbee. Good boy. We're going to do a, a little presentation on increasing your hand speed, getting your hands to the ball. Huh? <laughs> yeah, he wants to play. He wants to play. Good boy. Good boy. Release. Good boy. Oh. All right, get your hands up. Step. Up. Up. Ready. Go. You're getting your hips. Your, your chest is turning. Okay, up. See, I'm lined up. My head's in the middle of my stance. And I got a great base hit. So those are things, again, these tips help you to do something at home. Plus they're fun. Put a mark on the wall. Every time you miss the mark, it's a base hit. So make games out of stuff. Coach Rick here, I hope you enjoyed the batting tips today. I promise you, if you do those few little tips, keep keeping that elbow connected, keeping those hands inside, transferring your weight, you will be a much better hitter here in a couple weeks. So practice that at home. Hey, I'm standing right here next to one of my most favorite players, Pete Rose. These are call him Joe Hustle. Got on base more than anybody else. Look how many hits he had. 4,192. Now, his secret was, though, he would crouch down, have a real small strike zone for the pitchers. But he was a very good hitter. But his big thing being Joe Hustle, man, could he steal a base. He was the one who invented the sliding first, head first into the base. That was Pete Rose. He was a Michael Jordan of the baseball at that time because there was nobody that would out hustle him. He practiced every day for hours and that's what it takes to be the best. If you like what you saw today, please hit the like button. 
And if you want to get more of my videos, hit the subscribe button. Then you'll be notified every time I come out with a new video. Also, if you touch the banner, it will take you to my next video. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, please send them to me. Coach Rick here. Hey, I hope you're all having a good day. Let's play ball.